but I mean, I'm going to be, no, you're good. I mean, I just started it just in case something run, went wrong, okay. you know, oh, okay. because that's always what would happen, yeah. you know. So myself and Mr. Lewis up the high school, we always do the live stream of the football team. So, but it's always something. Yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's always something. So, yeah, you're good. You're good. Who's your son or daughter? Oh, okay. So I, he was talking to me about hockey. He played hockey yeah. out in Columbus, correct? Yeah. Okay. And uh, I don't know if he came home and said, you know, there's this teacher talking to me about hockey. So I was, I was a teacher. My, my little boy, um, they're seven. They play hockey. They started their first year last year. But I told him because he said he was looking for a place to play yeah. out in Newcastle. It's Pest. Pest. Um, and it's part of the Lawrence County Lightning. Okay. So check it out. Uh, they have a Facebook page. Uh, message them if he's interested. He is. So, I don't know much about it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know a ton about their program just because we're new to it too. But uh, I mean, it's it's well run. Let's put it that. Yeah. So. He missed it. He missed. He said missed something about it the other day. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's players. cool. Yeah, their locker rooms are probably with the hall players. Gotcha. They'll come in and talk to the tour boys and walk past the camera live. Yeah. Of course. Like, we get so much fun. Oh, it's... <laughs> I know hockey isn't huge around here, but, like, it's, a, it's an awesome sport. It is. You know? Is. There's always something going on. It's fast. It's exciting. It is. It is. Yeah. yeah. So, but, yeah, check it out. Lawrence really County Lightning. Um, yeah, they have a Facebook page and everything, so I was always teasing them whenever the Penguins would play the, the Blue Jackets oh, and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so. I mean, it was like it took him three hours to learn the ice. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Different animal once you get on ice. Yeah. Right. And boys, they're stubborn. Yeah. They don't want to use those walker things, those no, helpers. He My four-year-old, um, you know, when we take the boys out to, you know, they're like the free skate mm -hmm. or open skates, and they have open skates by the way um, on Sunday. So they have stick and puck this Sunday. Yeah, their schedule's online. So they have stick and puck this weekend from I think 12:45 to. Uh, I think it starts at 1245. I can't tell you when it ends, but they do have stick and puck. Yeah. That's awesome. Very cool. Yeah. No, it's right. And if you go to a certain high school, you might play hockey for a different reasons. You know? Yeah. So, New Wilmington, they have a, their own hockey high school team. Um, I think Newcastle might too. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. It's kind of like Ohio State football. It's hard. Right. Like, the closer you get down to Pittsburgh, obviously, yeah. Cranberry and everything, yeah. you know, you start getting into a lot more. Because they have, you know, a dozen different rinks that they can go to. Yeah. We have one, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. Hockey is so much fun. It, it is. Yeah. It's, um, it's fun to watch, except for when people go watch the older kids play. Yeah. I didn't know. They were throwing themselves against the window. Uh, yeah. I said, well, it's a fun time. Right. No, it's a fun time. <laughs> yeah. Well, the, the Youngstown Phantom, they're like a minor league team. Um, they're playing, I guess, in their championship game tonight. 
So if you're looking for something to do, yeah, I mean, I don't know if you've ever watched the Phantoms game. They're awesome. They're reasonably, like, really reasonably priced. Um, I think we just got up on the glass this year for, like, 20 some bucks a piece or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, check it out. So it's some good hockey, too. So it's just a bunch of young kids who are just trying to make a big, you know? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And that's the thing, like, hockey is a sport where if you don't consistently play, you get behind quick. Because it's not like you can go and go down and practice. Yeah. yeah, get them out there. So it's not that far. Like, from here, 20 minutes. Yeah, it's not Hey, nice meeting you. Yeah, you're good. Yep. Yep. Silence, 
all cell phones and electronic devices, no whistling or noise makers, screaming, hollering, or loud verbal, verbal outbursts. Would you please help me welcome the sixth grade graduating class of 2029. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Dr. Adams King, Dr. Claire, Ms. Wright, parents, guardians, teachers, classmates, and friends. Good morning. My name is Gavin Solo Pettiford. Welcome to our sixth grade recognition day for the class of 2029. I am honored to have earned class valedictorian. This is my first step of reaching my goal of attending a Division I. Yes. Our first like to thank Mr. Hilliard. I uh, first like to thank Ms. Elio for never giving up on us and wanting our class to achieve excellence as we end our journey in elementary school. Next, I want to thank Mr. Fuses and Mr. Zero for always encouraging us to do extra credit and helping me keep my grades up in any way possible. I really appreciate you. I also want to thank Mr. Cummings for keeping me on track throughout the whole school year and helping me reach my potential in reading and writing. Next, I want to thank my teachers that helped me to this point. Mrs. Slevin, Mrs. Stutes, Mrs. Ondale, Mrs. Urban, and Mrs. Curtin. I also won't forget the adventures and fun I had with my class teacher, Mrs. Allen Ball. I want to thank my mom and dad for always believing in me, never letting me give up on anything, and pushing me even when I gave them a hard time. My seven years at Third Elementary have been once remembered for making new friends, playing sports, and achieving good grades. I hope friendships that I have made will move into lifelong relationships. We will need each other as we enter the next phase of our lives. 
I also want to wish a special thank you and goodbye to Miss Wright. We wish you the best on your new adventure. In closing, I would like to end with a quote from Michael Jordan. If you do the work, you get rewarded. There are no shortcuts in life. Thank you. to the 2023 sixth grade recognition day ceremony. Thank you, Dr. King, Dr. Claire, and Ms. Wright for allowing us to showcase these students. Thank you families and friends for celebrating the students' academic successes with us. The President's Award for Academic Excellence is given to students who have received all A's and B's throughout the entire school year. There's a lot of them, so please hold your applause. The students receiving a certificate are Jashay Ivey, Peyton King, Caden Atkins, Chris Blue, Nyla Freeman, Deontay Gillespie, Jodell Howell, Patricia Reddick, Simera Footman, Gavin Soto Pettiford, Avlani Valencia Razo, and Colton Pinero Malik. The following students have received or have been qualified as the top 10 students uh, for this particular graduating class. They have the highest academic achievements in the grade. Again, hold your applause. Gavin Solo Pettifer, valedictorian. Avlani Valencia Razo, salutatorian. Simera Footman, Peyton King, Deontay Gillespie, Chris Blue, Jashay Ivey, J. Deanna Miller, Patricia Reddick, and Monteith Reddick. <laughs> the Feral American Legion Post 432 has kindly presented two students a monetary award. Those awards will go to Chris Blue and Peyton King. Serenity Downs, Kijon Campbell, Aubrey Dillon, Kara Robinson, Patricia Reddick, Chanel Davis, Amani Archie, Curtis Newby, Lamir Smith, 
Monteith Reddick, and William Ramey.
four sixth grade students are being recognized for their participation in the Barrow Area Elementary Quest program. Quest is an enrichment program where students have the opportunity to engage in challenging educational activities both inside and outside of the classroom. This year also marked the second year students were tasked with recording the morning announcements. They gained valuable public speaking skills and did a phenomenal job. It has been my privilege watching these students grow through their elementary years, and I will truly miss them next year. Would the following students please stand in recognition of their participation in the Quest program? Chris Blue, Samira Footman, Monty Reddick, and Gavin Solo Pettiford. The Citizenship Award is given to students who have shown leadership, growth, kindness, and maturity throughout the year. This is a very prestigious and distinguished award given to only one student from each teacher. My student choice for this year, Citizenship Award, is Adlani Valencia Razo. When I started thinking about who I would choose for the Citizenship Award, Ablani stood out as a student who consistently showed good citizenship throughout the year. There are many qualities that exemplify a good citizen, and Ablani shows the qualities in abundance. When she comes to school each day, she comes prepared and ready to work. She always politely smiles and says, hi, Ms. A.M., and she interacts with both her peers and adults. Ablani set high goals for herself in the beginning of the year and worked very hard to achieve them. When anything needs done in the classroom, I know that I can trust Avlani to get it done. Avlani leads by example. She is always following directions given by the teacher and follows the school's code of conduct. This shows tremendous self-discipline and respect to all around her. She is kind and compassionate to her peers and is always likely to hand, lend a hand when one is needed. She also has the coolest cell phone cover and attachments. When it comes to her schoolwork, Avlani completes all assignments, classworks, and anything extra given to her. She has a tremendous internal drive to always do well for herself. I know I can always trust Evlani implicitly. She is very responsible in all of her actions. She is courteous and shows great integrity. Having Evlani in my class this school year has been wonderful. I know she is on her way to bigger and better things in her life. There is no doubt in my mind she will have a successful future. Evlani, good luck to you as you begin the next chapter. I'm proud to write this letter for my choice to receive the sixth grade citizenship award for room 307, Dwayne Jordan. <laughs> DJ is a very mature and hardworking young man. DJ has a calm and thoughtful demeanor about him and is always respectful and polite. It's been a pleasure to be DJ's ELA and homeroom teacher and watch him progress into a conscientious and prepared junior high student. DJ is a leader amongst his peers. He leads by example and is one of the most respectful and well-behaved young men I've had the pleasure of teaching. DJ was taught being good all year and never once had to be spoken to by any one of his teachers. Sixth grade can be a difficult year for kids. They're growing up, but they're still caught up in the pressures of impressing their friends and figuring out who they are and what they're good at. I can tell you that DJ never lost, or never once, let any questionable behaviors or peer pressure get to him. He's a leader. He remained calm and steady in what could be a rough group at times. He's kind, respectful, and a great friend to all. I enjoyed watching DJ work on his shot and play basketball with his friends at recess. DJ has a bright future in both academics and sports. His hard work and leadership, no doubt, will serve him well as a student athlete. I'm really excited for DJ's future here at Barrel High and beyond. He's a student that will make his family, school, and community proud. I have no doubt that he will continue to lead with his leadership skills 
as well as with his extraordinary character traits. DJ, you'll be missed. It was my privilege to get to be your teacher this year. Good luck and God bless you. Man. for education have issued four monetary awards to these deserving students. Dion Graham, Jamara Higgins, Skylar Jackson, and Gavin Solo Pepe. The Extra Effort Awards goes to these two students, also a monetary award, Colton Pinero Malik and William Rankin. Fair 
Carter Music Guild is issuing these monetary awards to these two deserving students, Kara Robinson and Curtis Newton. Watson's Bus Company is issuing awards to the following students, Avlani Valencia Razo, Monty Reddick, Philip Wells, and Peyton King. The FASD Memorial Scholarship Award is presented in the memory of the following teachers. Ron Meese Jr., his father is in attendance with us here today, Missy Miller, and Scott Andrewski. And this award goes to Patricia Reddick. And the Sharon Tube Office is uh, from Tim Feeney is being awarded to these two deserving students, Gavin Solo Pettiford and Atlani Valencia Valencia Rock. The Yokette Club is also kindly offered four awards. The students receiving those awards will be Dwayne Jordan, Gavin Solo Pettiford, Tajon Matthews, and Diavion Wade. The Principe Memorial Award will go to the following four students. Gavin Solo Pettiford, Patricia Reddick, Jashay Ivey, and Monty Reddick. The Caring Community Member Award is going to all 46 students. Will all students stand, please? generously provided every student with a $50 award. We thank this community member. The Farrell Alumni Association is also providing four awards. The students who will receive that are Lemire Smith, Jordan Roy Heath, Jordan Hines, and Oriana Moss. Good morning. The Lane Steve Fustis Memorial Award is presented to five students that have shown interest and made progress this year in math. They are Tajon Matthews, Peyton King, Curtis Newby, Elijah Chambers, and Nyla Freeman.
men of God have graciously donated money to provide awards to four students. Those students are Kijan Campbell, Deontay Gillespie, Elijah Chambers, and Mondila Gillespie. The Pharaoh Golden Dog has provided a monetary award to two students. This award goes to Javiana Miller and to Shay Ivy. The next awards were provided by the Christopher Columbus Society. These two monetary awards go to Patricia Reddick and Deontay Gillespie. For Columbus, Dr. Malteri has graciously provided a monetary award for one deserving student. The Dr. Malteri Award goes to Simera Bookman. I'm now being joined by Mr. Ron Meese Sr. to help me present our next award. This award is the Ron Meese Memorial Award. Established in January of 2011, this memorial scholarship serves to honor formal, former teacher Ron Meese. Ron Meese was a very popular teacher at the Faro Area School District. Ron passed away in January of 2011. In his honor, the Ron Meese Memorial Scholarship Fund was formed to recognize those students at the elementary and high school for their accomplishments. Ron made a difference in the lives of his students. Everyone that knew Ron knew how passionate he was for education, for his students, for his family, and his friends. His believe in yourself attitude was always in his teachings, and he had hoped that to teach his students to become stronger and better people. This year, the Ron Meese Memorial Awards are awarded to these four students Simera Footman, Javiana Miller, Deontay Gillespie, and William Ramey. The Carol Burkowski Leadership Award will be awarded to four students. Carol Burkowski is a retired Farrell educator who spent over 40 years at Farrell. She was an elementary teacher, quest teacher, curriculum director, and principal. This monetary award presented to these four students. The four students are J.B. Anna Miller, Chris Blue, Jashay Ivey, in Cole Pinero Valley. The Fair Alliance Club has generously provided a monetary award to two deserving students. Those students are Avalani Valencia Raza and Gavin Solo Pettifer. The International Brotherhood of Christian Men has provided awards for four students. The four students are William Ramey, Silas Richardson, Colton Panero Malik, and Avlani Valencio Raza. awards to the following students. Please hold your applause until all names are called. Gavin Solo Pettiford, 
Avlani Valencia Razo, Saimira Footman, Peyton King, Deontay Gillespie, Chris Blue, Jashay Ivey, Javiana Miller, Patricia Reddick, Monteith Reddick, Aubrey Dillon, Kashmir Gordon, Jacob Williams, Imani Archie, Tiana McRae, Chanel Davis, Nyla Freeman, Jodell Howe, Isabella Norris, and Jamel Odom. The Secretary's Award is a monetary award given to two deserving students. They are Avlani Valencia Razo and Caden Atkins. The Farrell Teachers Association is giving a cash award to two deserving students. They are Anila Rice and Malachi Lyons. The Farrell Wolves Club is giving two cash awards to the following students. Saimira Footman and Peyton King. Good morning. My name is Jordan Snyder and I'm the elementary counselor here at Farrell. One of the many things I admire about our students here is how resilient they are. Two students in particular in the sixth grade class have demonstrated true resiliency throughout their elementary careers. They've experienced hardship in their young lives but continue to have positive attitudes, kept their grades up, brought smiles to their teachers and classmates' faces, and truly carried themselves with dignity. The two recipients of the 2023 Resiliency Awards are Kijan Campbell and William Rosie. As a part of our Title I Parent and Family Engagement Set-Aside Funds, each student will receive a scientific calculator. Students, please rise to be recognized. The Principal Student of the Year Award is presented to the sixth grade valedictorian, Mr. Gavin Solo, Pedagogy. Gavin earned all A's and has the highest percentage in all subject areas. So it gives me great pleasure to present this award to you, Gavin, in the amount of $100. Congratulations, Gavin. Gavin Solo Pedagog. Avlani Valencia Raza. Saimira Footman. Peyton King. Deontay Gillespie. Chris Blue. Tashea Ivy. Patricia Reddick.
Kwati Red. Kara Robinson. Oriana Moss. Dion Graham. Dwayne Jordan. Ty John Matthews. Jordan Hine. Caden Atkins. William Rainey. Bondigo Gillespie. Silence Richardson. Lamir Smith. Zaire Robbins. Nyla Freeman. Isabella Norris. Jamel Odom. Serenity Down. Jodell Howe. <laughs> Philip Wells. Elijah Chambers. Jamar Higgins. Kashmir Gordon. Aubrey Dillon. Jordan Roy Keith. Malachi Lyons. Diavion Wade. Colin Pinero Malik. Chanel Davis. Amari Major Booker. Imani Archie. Joseph Gordon. Jacob Williams. <laughs> Tiana McRae. <laughs> Curtis Newby. <laughs> Kijan Campbell. Tyler Jackson. <laughs> Parents, guardians, and families, all checks can be picked up on Tuesday, May 23rd in the elementary office. In closing, sixth grade students, you are definitely a unique group of talented scholars. Remember to be kind to yourselves and others. Strive for greatness. Don't follow the crowd. Stand tall and never settle for less. Best wishes to you all in your future endeavors. To the parents, guardians, families, staff, 
of the Pharaoh and Wheatland communities. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I am and forever will be Pharaoh. Thank you. Thank you all again. That concludes our sixth grade record.